is January 25th, 2024. Again today, you know, yesterday, um, people were walking around me on the 24th. You know, nobody even cared about Dave and what happened to him. They were making him believe they actually cared about him when they just wanted to get away with a scam. I know that. Michelle didn't even care about him. She was part of the Florida group. Uh, and the Florida group, the M13, because all the Latinos work for Pete. Uh, and they all said they did. Well, they were in it with the fentanyl game. Or, I mean, the Russian. Uh, because where I was talking to that guy um, at that one place, he was talking about the Russian drug lord had the M13 drug cartel help him. They were the human traffickers. Well, they were some of the ones that were harassing me. While the other ones were, for we all work for the king from Texas, we are his men. Dave hired us. Okay? And he's a fentanyl king. He's a drug lord. They were fighting over this area. They used me as a pawn and scam. They said it. They even said it December 21st of 23 inside Walmart. Some little kid went, Will said we're supposed to yell, we're blah, 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 and said no. Those drug lords were used her as a pawn. They made everything up on her so they could fight in front of everybody. And nobody would say a word. They're not even mad at her. She didn't know why all these people were saying stuff to her. And making stuff up on her and hurting her. And here they're just using her as a pawn so they could fight in front of everyone and no one would tell on them. And they're not even mad at her. And they came back and killed her ex-husband for their men going to jail. And they met it inside Walmart. Okay. Okay. Yesterday, yesterday, people were talking. Nobody even cared. Well, you got to think. Michelle's a stripper. Because all these strippers are showing up and harassing me. Okay? Drug cartel guys. All right. So, um, I looked up the strip clubs around Dave's work. And the one, it was one of the girls. And I put a picture up on Facebook. People showed up even on Tuesday. We all seen that girl and they said they were helping out for her. And she is a stripper and a prostitute. And it was a drug uh, cartel, human traffickers helping them. Okay. Nobody should say a word. They said it was a human traffickers harassing her. So who's in stores lying on me? Human traffickers. Okay. Tuesday, I'm in Harville. Two days ago. Um, I'm in Mark's. There's guys walking around. How dare these people? First they come in and said, it was the Fentanyl King's men harassing her and hurting her. Nobody's to say a word. Then there was a guy named Bill involved in this. He's talking to a guy. He's like, they're like, Bill, he's like, I know. I told him that she cannot handle what these people did to her. They shouldn't even ask me to. He said, and I want you to thank the police for their participation in this, of allowing us to get away with this here and looking the other way. He wants to thank the local police for letting him sell women and children for sex slaves and to be murdered. He wants to thank them for serial killing and child molesting and them looking the other way and him stealing from the government. He wanted to personally and publicly thank them. Yeah. Well, yesterday, everybody was saying, well, you got to think, well, you got to think about Michelle. She's a prostitute. She's a stripper. She has sex all night long with men. Why would she want Dave? Well, Dave's hired the fentanyl king. She's part of the Russian that's hiring the M13 to help human traffic. They're fighting over this area. Dave's in it with the fentanyl king. Posing things. They had her go attach herself to him so that she could get information on the opposing team. I put that up on Facebook. Some guy from Florida liked it. It is what's going on. They used him as a pawn, too. Um, you know, during the case, I was found innocent of everything. And Thanksgiving of 18, my uh, son, John, I went to him because I heard his kids making up stuff in the basement. I went, what on earth is going on? There's a video of it and carrying around the house. FBI informant. Police were taping in there legally. Protected custody with statements. Okay. I asked him, I said, what's going on? He's like, I don't know, Mom. 
He said his ex-wife, Melissa, was going to have to make up everything because he told him I was going through a divorce, going to be moving out. But mom, they could never say anything bad about you. She'll probably have the church people make up stuff too. But they, uh, they could never say anything bad about you. I go to my ex-husband. It's like I've never hurt anyone. He said, Karen, you're good to the kids. You're good to the grandkids. You would never hurt anyone. You're good to everyone, no matter who it is. They made up lies on my son, Josh. Supposed to have hurt him, supposed to have flashed him. I went to him. I said, Josh, would you verify I never flashed you? He's like, Mom, if people are going to make up stuff like that, I'd move away. Then another time, I've never hurt you or done anything bad. I never said you did. I went to my son, Danny. He's like, where'd you get that? Hmm? And my daughter-in-law, Jen, she's like, anybody, this is November 13th, 22. Uh, if anybody said you did anything wrong, they would be a Pinocchio, Karen. They would be lying and their pants would uh, burst in flames as if you do anything wrong. Went to my grandkids. I've never done anything bad or wrong to you. That's the truth. Always been good to you. Yes. Went to my other grandchildren. Same thing. They all defended me. My whole family defended me. And the police had already talked to them. Where these people make up lies. They're just lies. Where I was waking up with bruises, throwing up, heart racing, almost passing out, severe personal infection. And the drug cartels breaking in, stalking me. I heard they photoshopped a washing scene in the other room to make me look weird. Laughing at people that they fooled them. Including the FBI, June 7th, 23, Walmart, 62, 10, 11 in the morning. How they fooled FBI agent John. Eric confessed he photoshopped and drugged everything November 18th, 22, Walmart 62, 2 to 6 p.m. and laughed at everybody how he fooled everybody. June 30th, 23, went to a party how he made fools out of all these people. Huh? They admitted they drugged me and told me to say stuff in 18 in front of the cops and they were doing it in front of them. And that they had photoshopped all their lives. And I mean, I they would say we photoshopped everything before. And we photoshopped all the lies. We photoshopped everything. And they bragged it in front of the cops in 18 and 19. And their tapes before. And that it was just a pawn for everyone for everyone mm -hmm. to turn on me. Well, the, the two drug dealers fought over this area. Do I still have idiots falling for, well, we all know this. You all know what? A pawn that a drug dealer's made up and drugged up a victim and told him to say something with roofies. I go to police out of this area. I talk to them. They want to know if our local police are slow. That roofies are sleepwalking. The date rape drugs. I'd wake up with marks with injection marks around the bathroom throwing up. Had marks on me. I couldn't explain. Go to the doctor. All my family physicians all summer long. I got all these bruises on me. And they were giant. Orange, lemon, grapefruit all over me. I don't know where they came from. Did you fall? No, maybe you're coming anemic. And because it was well water, we were using it. It was toxic and to wash in. I thought it was making my personal area swollen and infected. And here I'm being drugged, beaten, raped. And drugged up and told to say stuff. You sleepwalk. The police already know that with amnesia drugs. That's how they get women to leave the bars and restaurants willingly with them. And participate in sex. And then have them get dressed and they don't know what those men did to them. That or I get sick of my Diet Coke or my coffee creamer. Where people think it's funny that drug cartels are breaking in and drugging up people, beating and raping them under drugs, and they don't wake up and they don't know what happened to them. And I'm going to the doctor, and I was seen by all my family physicians all summer long of 18, all the signs of being drugged, beaten, and raped. And because I'd never seen anybody and never talked to anybody, they didn't think of sexual predators violating me. Running a big scam, stalking me, photoshopping, shower scenes I've heard in other rooms. And then drug me up and told me, say weirdo stuff, flasher stuff. It's not funny. I got two witnesses on my phone and being drugged up and told to say weirdo molester stuff. It's not funny. None of that's funny. None of it's funny. Where do people find? And then they make fool. they laugh at them how big of fools they are. You know, and they did, like they said yesterday. No one even cared about Dave. They just wanted to get away with a scam. Hmm? And Bill and Marks and Hartville wanted to publicly thank the police for looking the other way so they could get away with us here. Serial killing, child molesting, slaughtering people into pieces, and mass murdering. They wanted to publicly thank the police for looking the other way. 
yesterday um i walked out of walmart 62 some guy pulled up i got the tape of him thanking him everybody turn them in that's how you stop them um my one neighbor keith sent me um a post from one of his friends some old guy was trying to uh get two girls out of the mall trying to get her their ears pierced security yelled at him and then got out and got his uh plates yesterday uh they said it was a four-year investigation they got um about 100 people out of different states human trafficking my case started five years ago it started in september 28th to like the beginning of october of 18 and they said they've been investigating for four years um they were all over me in 18. see where i called that agent you want to hear a bad joke you want to hear a real bad joke a stripper and a man trying to kill his wife walks into an fbi agent office with an occult leader and a human trafficker running a sextortion scam of drugs and told to say it and stocking tapes and photoshopping and washing and stocking tapes and the FBI agent fell for it that's the story of my life and he opened up an account an informant with money and immunity and he stole it and he let hell break loose here and thousands have died I've been trying to get somebody to fix this for a long time I'm going to go ahead and upload this. When people stop acting like jackasses and think it's funny that strippers and drug cartels are breaking in people's homes, stalking them, breaking in, roofing them when they're out of the room or stabbing them with a date rape drug and tell them to say stuff. When they stop thinking vile, sick crimes are funny. Maybe they'll turn them in.